Good morning, mountain bikers. I'm Chris Wessels, and you're watching MTB Trail Review. And today I'm going to check out the newest bike park in San Diego, the second of hopefully many to come, the Greg Cox Bike Park. So I don't really know what to expect. We're gonna go check it out, ride it. I'm sure no matter what, it will be fun. Enjoy the ride. All right, I'm gonna start with a little lap on the pump track to warm up. Fully modular. Ooh, feels a little weird being on a modular track. The jumps kind of look for real. I guess we're gonna go check them out. We have a blue line and a green line. I'll go to the green line first. Wow, it's windy. That's one of the cool four I've ever done. I think it's fun. I'm gonna drop into the blue line. Uh, ramps look similar, a little bit steeper, but. Man, it's so windy right now. I got this gnarly headwind. Whew. Check out this perimeter trail. Supposed to have some features, some jumps, drops, but I think this blue line, the blue jump line I just hit, I'm gonna really like that when I don't have a 20 mile per hour headwind. <laughs> it's gonna carry any speed. Uh, it's not downhill, really. You have to generate your own power, so. Just something to be aware of. Not really sure where I'm going. Oh, I see these features everywhere. I think I see a trailhead. Let's see. That was a little drop. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm just gonna start right here, so. See where I'm at. Oh, okay, okay. So if I would have come in on the other side of the jump line, puts me right here, I'm by the wall ride, and we have a little trail. So 
Looks like there's some features along it. There's a drop right here. Nice little berm. Oh, we got some rock gardens. That was cool. And then we're supposed to go to the left, it looks like. Well, short little line, but it was cool. Okay, I see another one over here. I want to go check out. See where it takes me. Let's see what's over here. A little roller. That, I might do it. I'm looking for a map. But definitely a cool little park. If you live close to the area, this park is rad. Kind of a drive for me. I don't think I'm going to come regularly just because of that. But still, cool little park. Sorry, I'm just going to over here. So, yeah. I'm going to roll through the jump line a couple more times. See if I can't get some speed. This is a sweet little kid's track. Um, I don't want to roll through it because there's actually kids using it right now. But when I come back with my son, I will. Maybe I will roll through once. All right, I'm going to go for this blue jump line again. I overshot that first one a little. That was scary. <laughs> yeah, that scared me a little. At least I have a jump thing to practice on now. I cannot carry any speed right now. This wind. Go through the slow trail again. Quick little lap, but it's got features at least. And that's your look at the Greg Cox Bike Park. I would say if you're a beginner to intermediate level rider, this is the place for you. It's definitely geared more towards those levels of rider. Uh, or if you're someone who's working on your jumping and you want to get used to wooden lips that have a little bit more pop, this is a great place for you. I will say that is the funnest wall ride I've ever done, I think. I don't know. I need to go back and do a couple other ones that I've done in the past, but that was so much fun. I would just do laps on that. Uh, also, I want to come back when there's not a 15 to 20 mile per hour headwind on the jump line, and I bet I'll have a lot more fun on that too. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the bike park, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And thanks for hitting the trails with me today. I'll see you on the next ride.